Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. I can't believe it's this time of the year already where I'm already looking back choosing my favorite new styles from the year before. But here we are today. I have 13 wig styles to show you. 13 of my favorite brand new wig styles from 2022. Now these are new releases from 2022. So I'm only choosing from the past year and there are a lot coming up. All of the featured wig styles today, you can find them at Wig Studio One. If you drop below the video, I will attach a direct product link for each one of the featured styles that I'm gonna show you today. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can explore all of the pricing and the colors. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at Wig Studio One. Don't forget to join us on our other social media, YouTube channel, a private Facebook group and Instagram page. We have a lot of wig styles to cover today, so I'm going to dig right in. Remember, these are in no particular order and they are all brand new style releases from 2022. We're gonna start with Raquel Welch's Stroke of Genius in Shaded Sand, RL1621 SS. This blew me away. It's voluptuous. It, the layering is exquisite. It has a touch of retro, but it just makes me feel absolutely beautiful every time I put it on. It features a lace front, a left monofilament side part. It has a beautiful, beautiful cap features and heat friendly fiber. It just looks like you have some beautiful, healthy, full bodied hair, and then you've taken a curling iron to some of these layers. It's the hair we've all dreamed of. Stroke of Genius by Raquel Welch has to top my list of Raquel Welch styles for 2022. I have posted full reviews on all of these featured wig styles. So if you wanna learn more information about each style, you can certainly check out the review. So Raquel Welch had a lot that came out in 2022, but there was another standout for me personally. And these, again, these are just personal choices. You may choose differently, of course, um, but these wigs really dazzled me in 2022. The next one we're gonna take a look at is a Raquel Welch, and that one is Untold Story. So this is the other Raquel Welch style that has made my top list of 2022. This is Raquel Welch's Untold Story, again in Shaded Sand, RL1621 SS. Now I'm not a big fan of straight bobs. It's just not my thing, but they have given this some flair, some voluptuous body, some beautiful flips and curl and I fell in love with it right away. It is a hand tie, a partially hand tied cap. So you're gonna see a hand tied lace front, full monofilament top and hand tied panels. There is some integrated wefting in the back. Nothing like a classy, classic style by Raquel Welch. Okay, so let's keep it moving on my top wigs of 2022. Henry Margot eked it out in the end, didn't they? They just released this. This is Riley in the color 10613 GR. And <laughs> you know, so far this year, uh, Henry Margot has come out with some beautiful styles. However, they're kind of short layered styles. And I always look for a little something with some personality. And this one absolutely delivered. Thank you, Henry Margot, for Riley. It is a mid to long beach wave style. It features a lace front and a center monofilament side part. It has these kind of a curtain bang here, but uh, these fringe pieces just come out and around the face so it doesn't get in the face. It looks beautiful every single time. I love the movement and this beachy wave. I always thought that it looked like a longer Henry Margus Kendall. Kendall being their original beach wave style featuring the same curl, just a little bit longer. The layering is done beautifully. It's just such a flattering style. So thank you, Henry Margot. Okay, let's keep it moving. There was one more irresistible choice by Raquel Welch this year, and that is Wavy Day here in SS Cappuccino, RL1222 SS. 
but I just love it. It reminds me of a longer simmer, which I think is an adorable style uh, by Raquel Welch. I like the sides. They're just curly enough to sort of feather back into the style. Now on this one, you're gonna find that lace front and full monofilament top. It is just gorgeous. It's a mid-length, kind of shoulder skimming style with that beachy wave. This texture reminds me a lot of something maybe by Valtress because it's a little lighter textured, it's a little more shattered and tapered on the ends. But just such a flattering look. Now that I have it on, it does remind me a little bit of that Henry Margus Riley that I just had on as well. But this one came out spring of 2022 and has just been an amazing style. I've worn it several times for reviews and I've enjoyed it so much. This again is made from the True to Life Heat Friendly Fiber by Raquel Welch. The next one in my favorites lineup is by Belle Tress. Belle Tress and Raquel Welch just seem to be really knocking it out of the park this year. But I chose this one because I was so excited that Belle Tress came out with a more of a shorter style when so many of their styles have been super long. It's just really refreshing. The other refreshing novel thing about this style is the curl pattern. Uh, this is Belle Tress's Coco in British Milk Tea. And the curl pattern here is a softer, uh, more voluptuous, romantic curl compared to some of the shattered, tapered texture that we see on other Beltrust styles. I love that too. But I'm really glad that they stretch their uh, curl muscles on this one and give us a nice, soft, romantic curl. Love it. This one has a lace front center monofilament part. Such a beautiful movement, just, just below the collar or just right at the collar for most people. I even said this one is gonna give uh, editor's pick a run for its money. Um, the six inch fringe just beautifully frames the face and stays out of the eyes. So again, this is Coco by Beltras in British Milk Tea. So now we move on and we're getting to the Ellen Villa Styles, new ones for 2022. I really like this Anima in light Bernstein rooted. I like it for its texture, for the flirty layers, for the ease of wear. It features a little triangle micro lace front and a wee little monofilament crown and then is open uh, top sides and back. So this one is Beautifully layered, light textured. I love a little bit of fringe here around four inches or so right there. It just scoots right above the eyebrow. It has beautiful movement. Now this one is heat friendly. So we have to be careful with Ellen Villa. They're coming out with more and more heat friendly cells. So you need to know which ones are heat friendly and which ones are not. So this particular one is but again, everybody seems to be wanting to mimic some of that texture by Beltrest, don't they? This one reminds me a lot of a Beltrest style. I think that's why I like it so well, but it is a little bit different by Ellen Villa and I've really enjoyed it. Next up, I'll feature a style by John Renault. I absolutely fell in love with this one. This one is John Renault's Rachel Light in the color 12 FS12 Malibu Blonde just the overall picture of this style. The style is perfect. I've loved Rachel uh, for as long as I've worn wigs and explored them. This style has been a favorite, but they've made some cap upgrades that just really cinched it for me. I don't know that I'll ever be able to go back to an original Rachel after experiencing this one. So in the John Renault's Light Collection, the cap features an ear-to-ear -ear lace front full monofilament top and then hand tied all around. And they've just completed the light picture because the cap is lighter. Uh, the density is so much more realistic compared to some of the original styles. Uh, and also they do lighten up the lace front quite a bit. So the lace front is something that they've really paid attention to here. So they've extended it to wrap around the ear, but they've also lightened it up with the highlight. So they take highlights right up to the root 
and it really softens that. The, it just everything is leveling up on the natural look of this style, and I love it. Such a flattering style, isn't it? I think I've used that description on many of these back here because that's why they're in my that's why in the, they're in my top wigs for 2022, right? Again, Rachel Light by John Renault in 12 FS12. This next piece is actually by Tressalore. Uh, this is Tressalore's trend in a newer blonde 613-1001 R18. I love this style. I loved waking it up and showing the potential of it. Um, I sound like a broken record, but this one was so stiff and had baby doll-like hair when it came out of the box. To me, that's just a challenge to get in there and make it mine and see what it can do. So waking up and separating these, these fibers became a huge priority and that's half of the battle. The other thing I did was create a little bit of lift by using the heat from my hand right at the front because I, need, I did like a little contour. This is a short, curly bob style with bangs and those bangs can be worn straight down or as I did in this case, just give them a little contour to show off that lace front. There's a lace front, a full monofilament top, and then open wefted sides and back. This is made from heat friendly fiber by Teresa Lohr. Plus this length, this length is just perfect, isn't it? This is my perfect length. Honestly, if I had to choose my favorite length for a wig style, it would be this length right here, not too short, not too long as if to drag clothing and things. I could, I have full unrestricted movement. I just feel free and fresh in this wig style. So I have to give a lot of credit to Beltress. Uh, they understand what we want. They come out with styles that we, they know we're going to love. And when they have a real hit of a style, they generally will eventually make it in a fully hand-tied cap. Uh, this year, they've come out with so many hand-tied caps, a Rosella, uh, Delgona, uh, uh, what other one, Caliente. So we're really enjoying these variations from Beltrus. It just gives us more and more choices. So what I'm wearing here is the Beltrus Delgona 16 in the hand-tied version. Oh, I just don't think I can go back. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous and I have, there's so many styling options because of the hand-tied cap. It's comfortable, it's lightweight, it moves like a dream. And I love the original Delgona too, but there's just something about this hand-tied version. The original Delgona has a lace front left monofilament side part. This one has a lace front full monofilament top and hand-tied base. Another way Beltrass has just hit it out of the park this year, as they have for so many years now, is by adding bangs to some of their styles. Uh, there is a huge market out there for bangs. I think bangs are becoming very popular because they're very well done. The modern bangs in the wigs now are wispy and they're flattering. Um, they're adjustable, but you can make some adjustments to the length if you like, because we're not all the same, right? But this one is basically the Delgona 16 with a full bang. I think it's beautiful. I think a lot of clients were buying these wigs and then adding bangs and so they thought, well, why not just make them ready-made right out of the box? So right out of the box, you have these built-in bangs that are absolutely gorgeous. They're well-blended, they're undercut, they're wispy, fine, and natural looking. And their bang styles, most of them, if not all of them, feature what they call the half moon lace front, which is an extended lace front and center monofilament uh, part. Love, love, love it. It had to make my top wig styles for 2022. I absolutely adore my curl. And the two companies that do the best curl right now are Ellen Villa, which they have been curl queen for a very long time, um, and Beltrust because they're sort of getting some curl diversity going in their styles. When this one came out in the spring, I could hardly wait to get my hands on it. This is Onda by Ellen Villa in the color Cream Blonde Shaded. When it first came out, I thought, oh yay, it's a little bit of a shorter girl mono. I think the layering might be slightly different as well, but it's very, very similar to girl mono. And at the time, girl mono didn't have a light blonde. So I was super excited to get this one. This has a lace front and left monofilament side part. It features this choppy, beachy wave curl. Now, because I love this one so much, I ended up purchasing two additional uh, 
on does in different colors. And those curl patterns are a little bit different. I uh, understand now that each onda may have a slight variation to the curl pattern, um, but they are a short going mid length, curly style with a manageable fringe, beautiful lace front, and just the perfect length. Absolutely love this one. So now I'm going to show you another one um, from Ellen Villa for 2022, and it has a little bit of a different curl pattern. Next up is Ellen Villa's Stella. This was just released this month, um, November 2022. I knew I was going to love it. I had seen a couple of reviews on it from my friends across the pond because it was available in the European markets before it came to the United States. And I was just over the moon when they brought it here. So excited to have it. Again, Stella in Bernstein Multi Shaded. The curl pattern is a little different. So it looks um, like a mildly deconstructed curl that kind of pools at the bottom so it's smooth until you get about halfway down or so. Um, now that fringe piece, I think is around eight inches, but it does a nice job of staying out of the face. It's a, it's a full lace front and left monofilament side part. It's a light density. Um, it is heat friendly, but it has not, just such a nice light wispy texture to it. Again, I was debating on whether to get this one in my favorite blonde, so I'm still deciding on that but it definitely deserves a place in my favorite styles, favorite brand new styles of 2022. I'm so happy for all of this, all of these options in curls. All right, so this one here is going to round out my top 13 best new styles of 2022, according to me, <laughs> my taste and preference. Uh, but I could not complete this list without including this one. I have it in three colors. This is Belle Tress's Twix in the color Brown Sugar Sweet Cream. Lace front, left monofilament side part. Um, just absolutely gorgeous curl. You gotta love curl to love this. Some, are you, some of you are like, no way, but this wig will not be for you unless you love that kind of curl. It's a tight spiral curl that frizzes out a little bit in texture. It's got a bushy, thick nature about it. It's so much fun to style. When I first got this in, I thought, gosh, this is really overwhelming in terms of its density. And just it's overwhelming. But I grew to love it in all of its wild, natural glory. Now, one thing that I do is I love to style it by kind of twisting back the sides that reduces the profile. Be sure to check out my full review on this one because it's so unique. Now, Belle Trust in 2023 is coming out with a shorter version of this style. It's called the, it's called Amber Rock and you know me, I can't wait to get my hands on that one either. So thank you so much for joining me today. I wish you the warmest and best and happiest holiday season with you and your families. Um, behind me and on me were my top 13 wigs, uh, brand new style releases for 2022. Everybody enjoy. We'll see you soon right here on Tassel.